We live. What's up? Hey. Hello. So, Cora, I want to welcome you to the Sea Turtle Mindset podcast slash YouTube show, um, where we go, obviously, um, audio and also visual, because um, I think people love to listen to people and also see them um, and see them in their expression. So it's made way more different. But also, you know, when you hear people out, you hear their passion in their voice. So that's why I started the uh, Sea Turtle Mindset show. So, ladies Hi. and gentlemen, I have here with me, it's a pleasure to have Coral. Um, and who Coral is, is honestly, who is she not? Um, what I've seen in the last, literally, I've met her probably three months ago. And when I, when I met her, it was just a complete powerhouse. Like, even though she's super shy, she's an extreme introvert. And it's taking a lot of effort for her to even hop on this show right now. Um, but what I've seen is truly a powerhouse within um, a, a woman on a mission for impact and in the short couple months that I've seen her grow um, she started a brand new spanking brand and it's phenomenal and that's why I asked her to hop on because I wanted to talk about the mindset of where she is so Coral welcome to the sea turtle mindset show thank you for having me pleasure Absolutely. to be here <laughs> So right now we're looking at your website. And so I want people to look at it and I want them to know exactly where to go to, to know. Um, for those who are listening, it's t-soul with the e at the end dot com. So to spell it out, it's t-s-o-u-l-e dot com. And so Coral, I'm talking too much. <laughs> so what's up? Talk to me. Where, what's the mindset that you got? What's, what's within the mind of Coral? So the purpose of this entire brand is mainly for entrepreneurs or anybody. No, it's not specifically for anyone or any specific target, but it's and for anybody who's starting a journey. It's very, it's very difficult um, to start any journey and then be just hit with a bunch of challenges. So the purpose of this brand is to kind of help guide people and also give them a, a sense of hope in a way because we are humans we think negative the majority of our thoughts are negative so the whole point is to kind of interpret uh, and interrupt I'm sorry your brain in a way and other people that are walking down the street and come across a positive message on your shirt so it's gonna interrupt your brain and they're gonna be like yo so in a that, way, I kind of needed to see that all right, all right. so I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and now I want you to show the people the shirt Okay, <laughs> so this is the shirt. It says, for today, choose courage over comfort. Okay. And we're just so used to being comfortable. And it's like, again, you want to interrupt people's brains. Okay, cool. And so my question is, why did you choose the name Soul? Where does it come from? What does it mean? Because um, you're the expert right now that I'm interviewing. So Soul came from me, kind of. I'm a very soulful person. I love to give a lot of love and um, I feel like the world needs a lot of uh, a lot more people like that. So the whole purpose of soul is just to give back mainly. So it, it just kind of it kind of came to me, to be honest, the brand kind of unraveled itself. Mm. So, you know, it's so amazing. I, I can totally see it. And even hear it in your voice that you're so uncomfortable right now. It's so funny. <laughs> it's all right. Why well, you got to point it out? Yeah, yeah we got to point it out because I'm going to get you loose. Because um, I really want to dive deep and I want to dig into the soul of your mind. You know, um, yes. I think that uh, I've said this before, you know, success is all, you can define success in however you want to define it. Um, but success is always progressive realization of a worthy ideal you know and so whatever that worthy ideal is for you that means success if you're aiming towards a physical goal if you're into fitness and you want to lose 20 pounds then you're being successful when you're working out if you want to become more spiritually awakened and you're meditating every day and you're praying every day you're being successful in in that aspect so i just want you to let it loose be you there's no judgment judgment free zone it's like planet fitness no <laughs> running out here so um yeah, talk to me. Um, what's up with the with the owl? And see, I know that me and you, I'm Reiki one. You're a Reiki master, by the way. So, um, tell us about a little bit about your background. Where do you come from? 
where are you from? Where are you located? What's your ethnicity? What's your back like? What's your backstory? What gives you that spark in your journey? Like, where did it all start? So, um, I'm I'm gonna be very vulnerable. Yeah, do it, do it up. I give <laughs> you permission. Super transparent. So, um, as I was growing up, I just went through a lot of hardships in my life. Um, I'm I'm the oldest of three, uh, two other siblings. My mother has been a single parent for a very long time. So it was just a lot of weight on my shoulders. And um, my mother suffers from a lot of health issues. So it was kind of like I had to be the second mom. And I also had to be there for her as well. So um it was just a very difficult time for me. And then uh, I was praying and seeking for something more. This was back in 2012. My mom underwent a huge surgery, um, brain surgery. She had a brain tumor. So she went through that and it was very, very difficult, like super difficult. And uh, yes, like crazy. Like, I don't even like to think about it, but I feel like that major impact kind of molded me into the person that I am now because I understand like <laughs> you only have one life. It can be gone in a second and you have no idea. So I started praying and seeking. I'm like, I want something more out of life. Like what can I do to help others as well as help myself and my family? And then, um, I was introduced to personal development and that was huge. That changed my life. So I, I just been on my personal development journey since 2012. And oh, I, so you've been in the game for a while. Whoa, yes. whoa, whoa. Yes. Okay. That kind of makes sense. A little now. All right. Okay. Yes. And so what started your personal development journey? Like how did you get involved? Cause obviously the sea turtle mindset is a personal development book. And the reason why it came about, is, you know, for those who are listening, me and Coral are in the same business. We don't benefit financially from each other, but, you know, the business aspect and the concept itself is what inspired me to even write the book. And mm -hmm. so because of that is I created the book. And so I'm all about personal development. My journey of personal development started literally 2015. So I've only awesome. been in the game for four years. Um, but what was it that sparked that, you know, besides the, I can imagine like, that that time with your parent like your mom so your mom went through surgery you wanted something different what was it what was the decision or what was it that really was like yo you know what i need to become a better me so i can better my family what was what was that exactly besides your mom unless it was your mom was it was it that more because i've heard a lot of people you know um, you don't change life until something drastically happens in your life. Was that it or was it something else? Yes and no. Um, during that same time, I was introduced to a business which introduced me to personal development because I had no idea what personal development was till then. So as I was going through what I was going through because of my mom. So let me, um, before we, uh, it, I'm, so, I'm sorry to interrupt, but. In 2012, you got presented with a, a business concept that introduced you to personal yes. development? Okay, cool. Personal, yes, yes, yes. So I was introduced to that, and then I was vulnerable. So at the time, I was like, I need whatever comes my way. Like, I've been praying, so this must be a sign. So I went for it, and that's when I was introduced to personal development. I've been to um, conventions about personal development, and it's like – it was mind blowing to me and to see that, to learn that I'm in control of my own mind and that the mind is such a powerful tool and you can actually accomplish anything that you set your mind to. That was a real eye opener for me. And it, it was, it's just been amazing since. Okay. Okay. Don't mind me. I'm doing a, a little note taking, you know, I'm taking some notes. <laughs> um, so was it a book? Was it personal development seminars? What was it that, um, you know, made you a student of, of this? So the first book that I, um, that I actually read and I, I let a friend borrow it. So I don't have it with me. It's called the, um, the power to change your life by Terry Gogna. I think I pronounced that right. I'm the not power sure. to change your life. Power, the power to change. Yeah. Your life. Okay, cool. <laughs> 
by Terry and um, the convention, he was actually the speaker. So um, yes, fire. Oh. He's a fire motivational speaker. So he went into the book a little bit and um, that's when he introduced kind of the concept of the mind and how you can use the mind as a tool to better your life and yourself and every situation and to have faith. And it's a very good book. So that book kind of started me and kind of opened my mind to other ways to learn. And I was like, I really like this. <laughs> so okay, okay. it went down there from there. So nice into the rabbit hole, right? Isn't that funny that, you know, it's funny. <laughs> we always watch that movie. It's Alice in Wonderland. And you yeah. know how many references people make to that movie of going into the rabbit hole? And it's just so fascinating how, you know, when you go into the rabbit hole, um, especially Alice in that movie, she just goes and everything, like her imagination explodes. And it's so funny, you know, in my journey of, of, of self-discovery and of this personal development, it's always one of the principles and concepts in personal development is to really start activating your imagination because your imagination is where creativity happens. Mm -hmm. And that's where life truly begins is in the imagination. So it's funny that you say that, like you just went into a rabbit hole. Yeah. Um, so what is it that you want to accomplish with soul or what's your mission in life? These are, ah. these, these questions. Are, <laughs> deep. These questions, deep. These, Very deep. We will have a conversation that will, it's going to be like, whoa. Great. Those I, are the best conversations. So with soul, um, the mission of soul is I want to help individuals kind of interrupt their brain from thinking negative. So an entrepreneur's journey is challenging. You, you can attest to that. So we kind of need something that's going to kind of keep us going. So the purpose of soul is to impact entrepreneurs and also people who are um, learning and starting the entrepreneurial journey is gonna help them kind of overcome any challenges and they're not gonna feel like they're in it by themselves. They're gonna have a community. So eventually I wanna form like a large community where we can all join and um, go over any issues that they're going through or just have somebody to speak to because you know, not many people feel open to speaking to other people unless they're kind of in the same realm, if you wanna say. Yeah, yeah. Okay, interesting. So. I mean, being an intro, is it safe to say that you're an introvert or you're just shy in general? Oh, I'm a mega introvert. <laughs> so what makes you, because I've seen you speak in public, what is it that, obviously it's uncomfortable, you know, uh, I know that public speaking is the number one fear in the world and the second fear is death. So people, you would rather die, literally, than public speak. And so yeah. what is it that's pushing you to like get over your fears? Because I, I mean... There's no coincidence because, ladies and gentlemen, um, Coral did Coral did flake on me yesterday on this interview. But there is no coincidence because obviously <laughs> not on purpose. It's not on purpose, but subconsciously, if if it's safe to say, and you can correct me, you self sabotage unconsciously because your that inside of you is like, nah, 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 nah. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do it. So what is it that pushes you? You know what? You say, excuse my language for the kids that are listening, the kids that are watching, fuck it, I'm gonna do this right now. What is it that, you know, pushes you? What's that little thing inside or what would you say it is? What are you, what are you giving it, what's giving you power, basically? The fact that I understand I need to be a leader and you cannot lead unless you're leading from the front. So I cannot be sitting in a corner telling everybody, hey, preaching motivation and preaching all this fantastic things. Meanwhile, I'm sitting on the back burner being a bench warmer, pretty much. So I understand that I got to become a better leader as well as get out of my comfort zone because I cannot preach what I don't do myself. So I, that's key. So wow. what's getting me going? That's powerful. That's powerful stuff. Um, okay. So what's up with your, what's up with your logo? Like, you know, I, I'm thinking the owl, you know, <laughs> supposedly, um, I'm not big into, um, into like, um, astrology or, or stuff like that, but I do believe mm -hmm. that there's no reasons why the stars are like specifically in specific locations. You know, like I believe there is, um, 
astrological geographic like their place there for a reason you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. like they no, nobody just threw stars in the sky just randomly you know there's nothing that happens randomly i think everything happens for a reason um with that being said you know as a sagittarius i apparently my symbol in one of the astrologies is the owl so i'm a big fan of the owl because it symbolizes wisdom mm-hmm. um an owl is huge on wisdom and the reason why even i chose sea turtles was because sea turtles also symbolize wisdom, they symbolize longevity, um, and they symbolize growth. So why did you choose the owl? You said it, major key there is wisdom. Mm. The purpose of um, soul is to be, uh, is gonna be a platform of wisdom so that people can connect to and obtain any, any information that they seek. So I do have a blog portion of it, So I'll add like articles that I would write myself on anything that I go through, my own experiences that I apply, whatever knowledge that I attain to then share with the world to see if it can benefit um, anybody else. So So it's big on wisdom. Yes. All right. So what's up with the little swirly thing? Because, you know, not for nothing, I'm like a... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> my mentor Max, obviously you 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 know Max, and he's been a, a huge influence in my life, positively, never negatively. Um, but he's a graphic, he's a professional graphic designer with 12, well over twenty years of graphic design. And I've just, you know, if I was to go back in the future and tell myself what to do, I would do graphic design. Like mm-hmm. I've literally DIY DIY my way of graphic design. See this logo right here, the Sea Turtle yeah. Mindset logo. I did that on pen and awesome. awesome. And then, and then I learned, I literally YouTube. So I love YouTube. I'm a, I, I, there should be a degree for YouTube education. Um, I agree. <laughs> I literally went on YouTube. I was like, how do you do graphic design? Because when I created the book, I needed graphic designs for the book. And I was like, I'm not, I'm a poor, I'm a, I'm a broke college student. Right. At the time I'm like, Hey, I'm not pe- spending a hundred dollars an hour on a graphic designer. I'm gonna go learn how to do it myself. So, you know, I pay very close attention to detail. Um, I pay very close attention to um, um, the color. Um, I pay very close attention to the little tiny things in um, artwork and everything. I'm, I consider myself an artist, a creator. So tell me, what's up with the little swirly thing going on in the owl face? Because it's, it's dope. I think it's dope. Yeah. Think, so this is what I see when I look at the owl, because I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> um, it's an owl face. Yeah. There is one, two, three, four, five, six shapes inside the head. Then you got the big eyebrows, which is dope. Makes it look more like, ooh, this is mysterious. <laughs> serious. <laughs> and then the snake kind of pattern around his eyes and his nose. And then um, the swirls and the little tiny dots that look like stars. So. So it's funny that you mentioned the whole YouTube degree because I did my whole website, everything by myself. I designed my own shirts. So I'm like... I, if I need a, uh, um, a graphic designer, I'm going to be it. Right, so right, right. I agree. So um, the what's up with the little circles is I'm a spiritual person. If you notice, the circle kind of um, wraps around one eye. So that represents your third eye, your pineal gland. Oh, so, I... Yes. And people who usually start their entrepreneurial journey or anybody else who's on their spiritual journey understand that your third eye is kind of gonna gonna get you to where you want to be because first you envision it in the mind and then you obtain it in the hand. Mm. So that's kind of where the circles, what the circles represents. And the little dots, like you said, kind of represent stars because I don't believe sky's the limit. Like you can have anything that you want. Say it yes. <laughs> loud and clear. Yo. Say you can loud have and clear. anything you want. So reach beyond the reach beyond the stars and don't feel bad because fulano the person next to you doesn't believe what you believe you know yo this is so. a historical moment she just said <laughs> on the show that no listen ladies and gentlemen for those who are not dominican or spanish this fulano is like saying peter or scott in like a story when you don't even know the real names of it like jim or, and or, or you know what i'm saying so fulano ya tu sabes so that's funny they uh, learned something new there you go <laughs> but it's funny because you know it, it irks me when i see um people commenting on their pictures you know sky's the limit yo you just made the limit 
Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> like, all I know is there's, there's a moon and there's a sun and there's stars. So you just limited yourself with the atmosphere. Like, what's good with you? It, it irks me. And, but sometimes I'm like, should I comment on that or should I just let them be? And sometimes I just let it be because because I kind of get a little bit um, aggressive and I, I, I might offend people. And today I saw a, a, a video about, you know, if it's not, if it's by 12 o'clock, you haven't offended somebody, you're not doing something right. And mm-hmm. so now, to be honest, for those who are on this podcast and this YouTube, I'm sorry if I offend you, but I'm not sorry because we're just keeping it on it. We're just keeping it real. So the sky is not the limit. F that. The universe is constantly, constantly, constantly expanding. It's growing bigger every single day. And guess what? Just like the mind, like here's, and this is, I'm a, I don't know if you know this. You know, you probably know this. I'm a, <laughs> let's blow some people's minds because I'm a big, stu- I, I study. And I, when, when I started in this personal development game, one thing that fascinated me was the brain. So I read a lot of books on the brain, neuro, neuro, uh, neuro linguistics, neuroscience, just you know, one good book, I don't know if you read it, it's called um, Change Your Brain, Change Your Life by oh, Dr. Amen. Amen, just literally, Amen. Mm-hmm. Um, it's phenomenal. Another one that's really good is um, Super Super Brain. And oh. Deepak Chopra is in that. And so he talks about a concept how the brain is literally a microcosm of the universe. Your consciousness when you expand it with new knowledge, you know, when your mind explodes with new information, you're like, oh my God, holy cow, you just might have a mind explosion. Well, yeah. it's, it's neuron being connected and, and it's an explosion in your mind, literally at a neurological level. And it, your, your, consciousness, your consciousness is expanding. And when your consciousness expands, it cannot unexpand itself, just like the universe is constantly expanding and it cannot unexpand on itself. Mm-hmm. So, how are you telling me that the sky is the limit, homie? Like, get out of my face with that. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, that was a little rant. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's up my alley for sure. Okay, so, um, so how how long have we been talking? I don't even know. Um, okay, so we're gonna wrap it up. It was sh- like short and sweet. You know, one thing that I'm always talking about, only emphasizing in my in my podcast in my in my show is. You know, at the end of the book, so for those who don't know, you know, the sea turtle mindset is about a journey of a, of a sea turtle who's born thinking he's a land turtle. And so he's born thinking he's a land turtle. And so he's only limited by his habitat. When he realizes he's a sea turtle, he realizes he can travel the world. And so as he traveled, he grew bigger, not just in physical size, but also in wisdom. And he learned lessons along the way. And um, he met different creatures like octopuses, dolphins, orca whales, and um Along the way, he learns these lessons, and he's on a journey to become the wisest tur- turtle alive. And the wisest turtle alive, obviously, wisdom is com- is a very co- close comparison with age, you know. So I've, I'm pretty sure you've ever, you've been told you're an old soul, and the reason the why they co- and why they call you an old soul is because you're so rich with wisdom. So he's in search for this tortoise because he's the oldest turtle alive, which is a fact. He's 185 years old. Go Google it. His name is Jonathan. It's a fact. He lives in the island of St. Helena. And so awesome. you know, at the end of the, uh, of the book, he, he explained, I'm sorry, I'm about to um, reveal the ending. Uh, the tortoise goes and says to the sea turtle, he says, hey, take this wisdom and spread it around the world. And so the ultimate message is spreading the wisdom. Mm-hmm. So Coral, what would be your wisdom that you want to be known for? And what do you want to spread? I What's the wisdom spread- you want to spread? I want to spread, my main thing is belief. Mm. The amount of people that do not believe in themselves, because I agree a thousand percent, we were, pro, uh, we were born to win, but programmed to lose. So everything that we go through in life, at, from kindergarten all the way to college, we're kind of molded into, what's the word I'm looking for? Into machines because we do the same thing, the same routines, kind of like a rat race. So I want to I wanna spread belief and I want people to understand that you can do anything. Just don't limit yourself. Believe. Even, even, and if you don't believe, surround yourself with people who, are, who want more that's going to help you believe and that are going to believe in you. So I would just say believe in yourself. No matter what. And if you don't believe in yourself, surround yourself with people who do. So 
here, here's here. I'm gonna end with this too. So belief, belief is such a powerful thing, and it, and it's nuts that you say that too. Um, what would you say to someone who's starting in this journey that wants to believe in themselves but they can't because obviously they've been surrounded by negativity? What would be three things they should do on a daily to build that belief? Because I'll, I'll be honest with you, like it's hard to break limiting beliefs. Like limiting beliefs limit you. It's like it's like I'll give you a story, and I'm pretty sure you've heard this story about the elephant. You know, um, when the elephant's a baby, they mm -hmm. anchor his foot to the ground with a um, a little piece of wood. But since the the elephant's so weak when he's a baby, he grows up thinking that that piece of wood anchored to the ground is is it it, it can't move him. So mm -hmm. he tried so many the baby tried so many times to get out, and he couldn't. Now that he's older, or she, because it might be a she, and he, she weighs 10,000 pounds, 1,000 pounds, she still believes that she can't break that rope. But she's powerful. <laughs> she can crush cars. Yes. So what would you say is three things that you, you can do on a daily to help an elephant break through that rope that's constraining us from getting what we want? Three things I would say is reading, listening to positive audios, and doing something daily that's going to interrupt your brain waves. Mm. So an example would be waking up at 5 a.m. if you're not a morning person or like taking cold showers, something that's just kind of going to bring you back to the present, back to the now, because a lot of people live in the past or either in the future, never in the present moment. And they kind of walk around with blindfolds on their eyes and just walk through life. So definitely three main things, listening to positive audios, reading personal development books on mindset, and also doing something that's going to interrupt get that brainwave. Nice, nice. So that's the show for the day, folks. I hope you got extreme value. Continue to spread the wisdom. Like and share below. Definitely comment. If you need anybody who needs this message, by all means, send it to them. If you're hearing this podcast, share the podcast. Now, Coral, where can people find you besides your website? Where else can they reach out to you? Where else can they hear more of your motivation? Where can they, even if they want more questions, can send you a question or two? The main platform I use is Instagram, so it'll just be Coral Vitini. Um, it's C-O-R-A-L. My last name is V-I-T-T-I-N-I. -T -T -I. It's just at Coral Vitini. Nice and simple. All right. Cool, cool. Yo, so to wrap it up, what's one of those lines you say about your name? Uh, what line? The coral in the sea. You already know. Oh, coral belongs in the ocean. <laughs> no! You <laughs> All right, guys. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. We shall talk to you guys soon. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>